good day to all. We shall learn about the different energy resources that are available today around us. Now, the different uh, availabilities or the sources that give us energy, that provide us energy, they are called energy sources. And they can be categorized into two, basically. The first one is the commercial or conventional energy sources. Now, these type of energy sources include coal, and another form of coal is lignite, oil and natural gas, nuclear fuel, and hydroelectric source. Now, due to these fuels, we have been able to see great advancements in the industrial sector, in the agricultural sector, in the transportation sector, and even in the commercial sector. And the total energy used in this world, out of it, 92% is due to this, is derived from this conventional energy sources. But the limitation of these sources is that it is finite and it can be exhausted within a span of 200 to 300 years. Now, the next category of energy sources are the renewable or non-conventional energy sources. Now, the different types are the solar energy, the wind energy, biomass and biogas, the OTEC, ocean thermal energy conversion, tidal energy, geothermal energy, chemical energy by fuel cells and hydrogen energy. Now, these type of energies are clean energy sources and they are continuously produced in the nature and hence it can be available forever. That is why we say that it is inexhaustible. We say that it is pure because it does not pollute the atmosphere and it is also available in large quantities. These energy sources have been seen to be suited for particularly decentralized use, that is, for distribution, for proper distribution of energy. Now, let us look into the different conventional energy sources. The most popular was coal. Now, it is a major source of energy for producing electrical energy using steam. Coal is a fossil fuel which is formed from plants, from vegetation. And from coal, we can produce different other compounds like dyes, oils, waxes, pharmaceuticals and pesticides. The next type of conventional energy source that is popular is oil and natural gas. Now, these are formed from organic material, animal and plant material that is deposited within the earth crust or the seabed. And then there they get broken down due to the high heat and pressure within the earth crust and become oil and natural gas. This process takes a long period of about millions of years. Now, this provides over 60% of our country's energy, India's energy. Now, the main ingredient in natural gas is methane. And natural gas is observed to be the cleanest burning fossil fuel. All other fossil fuels contribute a larger proportion of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, whereas natural gas gives out only the least proportion of carbon dioxide. The next type of conventional energy source is nuclear fuels. Nuclear fuel is the nuclear material that is used in nuclear power plants where heat is produced. Now, within the power plants, we can have nuclear fission reactions and here a tremendous amount of heat is generated and this heat can be used as electricity. 
the most common type of nuclear fuels are the radioactive elements like uranium-235 and plutonium-239. Now, the most popular type of conventional energy source in our country, in our state particularly, is the hydroelectric energy generated by dams. Here, electricity is produced from this hydropower or water power. It is generated by flowing water over a turbine and the turbine rotates. Now, the rotation of the turbine is then connected to an electrical generator which produces electricity. Currently, China is the largest hydroelectricity producer. Now, let us look into briefly about the different non-conventional energy sources. Solar energy. The solar energy is obtained directly from the sun and the sun's heat is converted into heat energy or electrical energy. Now, this form of energy is the most cleanest type of renewable energy source. No burning takes place. Okay. There, there is no harm to the nature. This is the cleanest renewable energy source and also it is the most abundant renewable energy source. Now, solar energy is usually obtained to us by different methods like photovoltaic mechanism or solar heating and cooling or by concentrating solar power. These three techniques are used to tap the solar energy. The next technique is wind energy. Now, wind is formed by the heating of the atmosphere by the sun. And this distribution of wind across the surface of the earth, it creates a wind pattern. Okay. And this wind can be utilized by rotating windmills. Now, wind is caused by the uneven heating of the atmosphere by the sun. And the variations in the earth's surface and the rotation of the earth also contribute to the production of wind, the generation of wind. Now, wind will vary depending upon whether it is a mountain or a valley or it will vary across the water surface and it will vary across the uh, vegetation over the earth, over the forests or over the deserts. It will vary. Now, in places of high wind velocity, we place wind turbines. And by the rotation of the turbine, we can generate electricity. The next type of renewable energy resource is biomass and biogas energy. Biomass is basically plant or animal waste. And this is used as a fuel to produce heat or electricity. Biogas is formed from this biomass by the anaerobic decomposition of the biomass. And it mostly contains methane and carbon dioxide. The next type of renewable or non-conventional energy source is the ocean thermal energy conversion, OTEC. Here, electricity is generated by making use of the temperature difference within the ocean itself. Now, on the surface of the ocean and within the depth of the ocean, between these two points, there can be a temperature difference of around 25 to 28 degrees Celsius. And by making use of this temperature difference, we can generate electricity. This form of energy is available every day throughout the week, throughout the whole year. Okay. It does not depend whether it is day or night. The source is always available. We don't have to wait for the 
ocean to come it is always available so it is a, a renewable energy resource that is continuously available the next type of energy is the tidal energy now tidal energy is produced by the formation of tides by the rise and fall of tides this is very popular in regions where there is high tide and low tide prominent high tide and low tide because it is more predictable than the sun and the wind hence we can control the production of electricity now the next form of renewable or non conventional energy source is geothermal energy within the earth crust there is a lot of heat tapped inside this heat can be used as energy geothermal energy is the thermal energy within the earth's crust and that was formed during the formation of the planet earth itself and also due to the radioactive decay of different materials within the earth crust the next form of energy non conventional energy sources chemical energy we can make different batteries or cells from which chemical energy can be produced and this form of energy can be used to produce electricity now a common method is by means of a fuel cell fuel cell uses the chemical energy of hydrogen and other fuels like lithium to cleanly and efficiently produce electricity if we are using a hydrogen fuel cell the only products are electricity water and heat and hence we can see how clean it is the next type of non conventional energy source is the hydrogen energy now here hydrogen is used as an energy carrier hydrogen can be produced in different methods yeah it can be produced by solar energy by wind energy from biogas from chemical fuel cells so if hydrogen is a by product hydrogen can act as the stored energy as a energy carrier so if we do not need electricity at a particular time we do not need energy at a particular time we can store it in the form of energy and whenever the need arises we can make use of the stored hydrogen energy now that's all for today's session we have seen the different forms of energy resources that are popularly available today we shall look into the non conventional energy resources in particular in the following classes thank you